at least this administration in the early hours, seems like it's trying to reach over to Republicans in the House and Senate to a certain extent with a Democratic majority in both, uh, both bodies of the legislature to try to find some kind of common ground. Is that encouraging to you? Sure, it's very encouraging to me. And I think also that, uh, uh that President Obama realizes the fact that, uh, you know, this nation is, uh, you know, is a, it's conservative overall. I don't think it uh, has the liberal tendencies that, uh, some would try to make it out to be and realize that, uh, all in all, America, uh, is a, is a pretty conservative country. And therefore, uh, he is, if he doesn't, uh, try to, uh, uh, reach out to the conservatives, then uh, I think he realizes that he'll have a tough four years. And I, so I think that's uh, he realizes that, and that's what he's doing. But um, you know, it's I'm very optimistic that we can work together. Uh, again, there's be a lot of issues that we will disagree on, and and uh, that we'll come to the table too. But uh, I'm uh, I think the Alabama delegation wants to lend to reach out a hand and say, let's try to work together and make it better for, for all America. The economy, in particular, economic stimulus plan, is the one thing that the Obama administration uh, wants the most uh, right now, wishing they had it yesterday, but, uh, but anticipating that it won't come until probably February. What has to go into any kind of stimulus plan for this thing to work in the U.S.? Well, first of all, I think the, the president, uh, you know, he talked about the tax cut, and certainly any time that uh, Republicans, uh, that you can include tax cuts uh, into any kind of stimulus package, uh, that's something that really is appealing to uh, Republicans. And so uh, the president has indicated that. We, that's, we like to hear that. So a lot of us are very concerned about the spending levels that are in that bill. Uh, and the stimulus package, so that's something that we're very concerned about. And we we need to see the whole package today. My uh, committee, appropriations committee, will be working on that bill. So I'll uh, certainly know more about the details a little, a little bit later on in the day. But uh, again, uh, any time you can include a tax cut uh, for the American people, that's uh, a stimulus. That's a good thing. We just need to see how much the tax cuts will be, and also uh, how much the spending is going to be, and make sure that it's not going to put an anchor uh, around the necks of our children and grandchildren. And at the same time, as you talk about that, part of a stimulus plan, uh, at least what we anticipate, is an enormous uh, spending and in infrastructure for this country. This is something that a lot of uh, Republicans and Democrats can agree on, that infrastructure needs to be the, the key investment. But uh, is, is there concern with you at all about the line of how much is too much? Well, when you're talking in the trillion dollar range, I mean, that is so much money, I think that's hard for individuals to uh, comprehend. And um, it's just uh, so much money that I, I think that it would really put a, uh, like, a, as I mentioned earlier, like an anchor around the necks of our children and grandchildren. And I think we've got to be very careful before we go and just spend like that. I think there's other ways that we can do can, to stimulate the economy as opposed to just spending. So I think uh, the president has got to look at other options. And I, and I, I'm very hopeful that he will uh, be open to that. He has shown some, um, you know, favor toward doing that. And, of course, we'll see as the days go on, goes on. But, uh, you know, a tremendous amount of spending when you're talking to the trillion-dollar range is something that a lot of people get nervous about, uh, especially conservatives in Washington, D.C., because they realize it's not, not only going to be us, but it's our children and our grandchildren that's going to be uh, – under that amount of debt. The president seems to suggest that there's a sea change out there in the uh, tone of Washington uh, since the November election. Do you believe the politics of the personal, the personal attacks, the kind of bitterness between the two parties, do you believe that's still uh, full throttle, still strong, or do you believe that has eased a bit in Washington? You know, it's hard to say. I think there's always been partisan politics in Washington ever since the beginning of our uh, nation. And uh, quite honestly, that is, you know, there is some uh, positive things about where political parties can get up and debate the issues and talk about. Uh, of, of course, there's things that are inappropriate attacks, and uh, you know we're all against that. But uh, in America, we decide to to uh, debate the issues and talk about them, and sometimes get down on the the, the, the floor of the House of Representatives and the floor of the Senate and discuss the bill and uh, have differences of opinion. And, and I think that's important for the type of government that we have. And it would not be the same if we were um, we didn't have that option. So I think while we while partisan politics in an inappropriate way is not good for America, I think the appropriate debating of the legislation and difference of opinion is very good. And as Diane Feinstein said yesterday as she uh, was introducing the president, uh, we've chose the ballot box and so the bullet. So instead of having bloodshed out in the streets, we can debate these issues and talk about them on a day-to-day -day basis. So I think all in all that's uh, very 
very good thing for America. But like I said, we, the positive parts of our differences uh, are good. We just need to make sure that we leave the uh, partisan bickering out that uh, goes on the personal tax. U.S. Representative Robert Adderholt, thank you very much for talking with us today. Have a good day. Thank you, Rick. Good okay. to be with you. Let's check in now once again with Mickey Ferguson for Weather on the Surface. Okay, Rick, well, we have clear skies out there, and uh, temperature readings today are going to be a little warmer than they were yesterday. Yesterday we had forecast highs in the upper 30s, but we started out a little warmer than we are experiencing the temperatures right now. Uh, we have temperatures in the teens all across the landscape. We started out in the 20s. We had feels like temperatures in the teens yesterday.